Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So hopefully you guys have been busy feeding Chansey because today, as of this time that I'm recording this video, it's the 26th of January 2021. And it's actually the last day of Chansey's event. So hopefully you guys have been busy, you know, feeding the hardworking Chansey from, you know, her break at the Pokemon Center. She deserves a well-needed rest considering how many Pokemon that she has to help Nurse Joy heal up. So yeah, alright, so apparently there seems to be some issues with, um, you know, team functionality that, that occurred with Android devices. So if you guys are playing on Android devices, you know, it's, it's sad that this kind of thing has to happen, but you know, hopefully the management will, you know, rectify the issues and somehow compensate you guys with whatever that's going on in this problem but as usual because I'm an iPhone user, I've always been, never have been an Android user, I seldom encounter such issues. But anyway guys, uh, yeah, with all that said, if you guys are facing these issues, you know, um, they apparently extended the event. Um, so until the 3rd of February? Huh? Really? Okay, so that's that's nice. I, I, I guess um, for you guys um, that have faced these issues and apparently there's a plane flying across my my block right now, I apologize for that disturbance in the sound barrier. <laughs> but yeah, but can, as you can see on my Chansey event hat, the timer is counting down. I don't have an extension for the event. So yes, let's take a look at what we have currently going on for the team. I'm still in 4th place. Alright, we break through another level. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, we got to level 8. Now, are we gonna get Chansey here right now? Or do we need to work a bit harder? Oh, it seems like we need to work a bit harder. So that's what we are here to do on this episode. Um, before the event ends, we are going to do our best to try and get Chansey for the team as well. So let's do this starting off as usual with the party invites. Oh, we have Beware. So that's nice to have added stars towards a new Pokemon that we have yet to attain. So let's do this with Starly's help. Although they did suggest the shiny Celebi, but you know, using event Pokemon is kind of a big risk. Right, let's do this. So let's try to pop as many um, cheese lines here. All right, we should do it as quickly as we can, cause you know we don't want the um, the honey to spread too much. Okay, so let's try to squeeze in as many pumpkins as possible. There we go. Alright, nicely done. Not the best results, but decent. There we go, all the honey on that corner is gone. Alright, so hopefully with the well placement of the megaphones, we will get, you know, some advancements. Yep, yeah, there we go. We did break through the barrier at the bottom, but oh, the icons can't reach. Oh well. Okay, so let's see. Um, we can break the cheese at the top here. So the icons will fall in and then of course they will be turned into megaphones. Yeah, there we go. That, that was the main intention. Alright, so let's go with Bulbasaur. Okay, we do need lots of um, score though. So that's going to be a problem. There we go. And we are good once we've gotten the megaphone summoned out. Hopefully, yep, there we go. So, yeah, it can be a bit worrying, like if the icons don't fall in in time, and then of course the skill activates, therefore, no megaphones get placed onto the field. And that is something that can happen. <laughs> it has happened to me once, and it was really unfortunate, but luckily enough, I still had hearts. So, yes, this time around, we need Charmander for this stage. 
Hopefully it isn't something so difficult. Ah, uh, okay, so this one... This one has occurred with me quite a few times already. It's not that difficult a level, just remember to pop them eggs. Um, you just have to destroy layer by layer. You don't have to, you know, evolve Charmander's skill as much. So as long as you reach out to as many rows as you can, you should be fine technically. Alright, so let's get Charmander going. And of course, not forgetting the eggs. Alright, so down here we definitely want to try and power up Charmander's skill. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. So we've got most of the rows destroyed. Just one sugar cube remaining. So all we have to do is focus on the eggs and of course it's trying to destroy that last sugar cube the normal way and there we go now all we have to do is the score so let's just gather a whole bunch of icons instead of using a skill because there's really no need to you know sometimes using a skill to uh, attain scores isn't the most effective way but yes if, of course you know, trying to clear the stage the shortest amount of moves possible to attain as much spare acorns as possible because we all know how important acorns are when it comes to, you know, trying to get that friendship bonus even though we, we failed the stage. Alright, so let's move on to the regular 10 stages and hopefully that, that 10 stages gives us a decent amount of star requirements for, you know, unlocking Chansey as a team. So let's go. Now this level is kind of annoying considering that they're mixable items. So let's try to do this as quickly as possible and of course as hassle-free as possible as well. So let's go in and scoop out the canisters. There we go. There's one more here. Okay, that's a problem. So let's try and push it out. Okay, so we're doing decently well. Just gotta make sure to mix all the canisters. You know, of course, clearing as many icons as possible does help out. Oh no, this canister is just... playing punk with me. Okay. Go. Alright, so let's try to move in this milk. Now the only problem here is how do we get the things to mix together? There we go. Alright, so destroying as many icons here as possible so that they will move closer together. Yeah, there we go. One more time, and we are done. Woof, lucky. Pretty lucky there. We used up all the moves, but you know, as long as we clear the level, that's fine. So, as long as you don't struggle too much with mixing the, the milk and the shaker canister, I think you should be fine. Um, you don't have to power up, um, sweet, you know, the, the skill icon just to get that wider range. Um, just, just, just destroy, you know, um, whenever it's possible, and of course, making sure that the chestnuts don't run all over the place as well. That can be a problem. All right, Togepi, let's go. So we do need to set free the neonist items, so that's gonna be a problem. There we go even spread out. Then of course we have to handle the be ever so much problematic um, marshmallows as well. Okay, I think we're doing pretty okay. There we go. More marshmallows, and of course there's a lot of toga peas. Gotta make sure we hit most of the marshmallows that are lit up, because we, we know how big of a problem marshmallows can be, um, you know, when they alternate. Okay. 
All right, not forgetting to set free all the other items as well. There we go. I think we're almost done with the marshmallows. Yeah, seems like it. So let's just gather all the tiny icons, you know, just so we can have that link 30 in play. So destroying the, um, the sugar cubes first, so we can transform the majority of the icons on the field. So we can just easily clear the link 30 request. And there we go. Simple as that. So we do have one move remaining, which is always good in my books. Extra acorns be it how little it may be, as long as they add up, it will eventually get to a large number. You know, just like, you know, our savings in real life. <laughs> Alright, so moving along. Mine them. Hmm. Alright, I wonder what kind of level it will be. Oh no. Okay, so I think for this level, it's best if you push the pumpkins down, because Minum's skill is not that wide range. Um, yeah, so definitely push the pumpkins down together, you know, so you can, you know, easily destroy them together. Then of course you have to take note of the the caramels that are coated in the the, the gum. Yeah, that 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 will be a problem as well. There we go, we're gonna set free the caramels first and of course try and destroy the pumpkin. We do have a link requirement as well, so that's gonna be a problem. There we go. So once again, setting free the caramel. Okay. I think we're pretty doing pretty okay. Um this pumpkin might be a problem later on. Alright, so let's try and push the pumpkins together. Okay, hopefully we don't mess things too much. Alright. Okay, it seems like we have failed because <laughs> We still did not successfully get the score and the link requirements, but that's okay. We are very close to finishing it, so I'm gonna just use the 900 acorns here. Technically, this level isn't that difficult if you have managed to push the pumpkins down all together way earlier. Um, you should technically be doing quite fairly well with lots of moves remaining, you know, considering that. If your luck is good with pushing items around together, I think you should be fine with this level. And it's still something that I have to work on. You know, sometimes I get lucky, sometimes uh, I don't, just like how it is for me this particular time. <laughs> Alright, so let's move along with Munchlax on the next level. What's with all the planes flying by at this time? It's, it's kind of like 8. 30 p.m. right now uh, and, and there are so many planes flying around I don't understand why there is it's not like we're celebrating any kind of uh, holiday oh well okay so let's gather more munch legs of course if we can push all the tomato bottles together that would be great Alright, destroy the cheese so that we can get the um, the leaves moving in. There we go. Okay, I think most of the leaves are there. Now we just gotta push everything down. There we go. So all the leaves are here. Now we just need to attain that score. Okay. So let's do this. Can we gain that score? Let's just destroy a whole bunch of icons with the help of Munchlax skill. We should be able to cover that score. Yep, we do. Alright, so not 
prob too problematic of a level just you know prioritize getting rid of the leaves first then of course you know the tomato bottles can be a pain uh, if you're not careful all right so when will i get my friendship bonus <laughs> uh, it's not occurring this episode so far so far and i don't want to totally jinx myself Ooh. okay so we have all the ordinal icons being locked up in olive oil so that's kind of a pain uh, we do have whipped creams as well and of course the, the annoyance of the vegetable crates so now that we have a majority of the Arduino icons out, let's go ahead and start destroying stuff. Um, of course, powering up Arduino skill is the crucial way of clearing this level. You know, it does require a bit of RNG, but you know, as long as you place the green ring around the level well enough, I think technically you should be fine. Um, like what I just did. Okay. There we go, all the whipped creams are gone. Now the only thing is to get another um, Ordino skill. So we can clear that request of megaphones, which can be a pain. Okay, there are a lot more icons over here, so let's just shift to the left. And that's it. So we used up all the moves, but you know, like I always say, uh, once the level is cleared, it's cleared, it's good, it's all good. Slowly creeping our way to be Beware's heart. I mean, or maybe costume, I don't know. Does Beware have a heart? <laughs> I I'm sure it's like another Pokemon inside. Can you imagine if like Beware has a Mega Evolution or something like that? Um, and he just takes off the costume and then you see what's really under the costume <laughs> under the different kind of Pokemon. Oh, that would be pretty interesting if that ever happens in the future. You know, but so far, Beware has no evolution. So, I mean, technically he has that tiny baby form, but, you know, if, if can you imagine if he has one more evolution step? Uh, that would be pretty interesting. Alright, so let's see. We do have to pay attention to the eggs. So let's get Starly's skill going. We don't really require Starly's skill to level up considering the how close the chocolates are. So we just have to use it pre-evolve and I just hope that RNG factors in some decent placement with the megaphones. Alright. So meanwhile, while trying to get a skill, I think um, attaining the eggs is the most important thing. So the chocolate destruction, I think the left and the right side are a bit more important because, well, the center center zones are pretty easily covered, um, you know, normally. So you can actually just destroy the chocolate pieces naturally. Oh, no luck on that one. Okay. Alright, so we just have one more chocolate to destroy and a bit of a megaphone problem. So hopefully we have three more megaphones appearing. Yep, yeah, there we go. So luckily the egg baskets did not block the way and we managed to have a sufficient amount of megaphones appear. If not, that might have been a problem. Alright, so yes, just destroy the chocolates in the well, more beneficial positioning. Um, I think you should be fine as long as you have more space for icons to drop in and attain more Starly skill. You should technically be okay. Okay, who's next? Alright. I wasn't paying attention, I was just talking to you guys and now we're in the level. Alright, okay, so we do have tomato problems, so let's try to get the tomato in. Uh-oh, that fruit can is in the way. Okay, what in the world? That skill is stuck in the corner? Is this a glitch? A game glitch? Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. I want my skill. Can I get my skill please? Okay, another tomato should be dropping in. Oh, come on! What nonsense is this? I was trying to push the tomato in. 
There we go. Okay, both of them are in. Both of them are in. That that that's fine. Alright, so now we just need to get as many icons as possible. You know, of course, get the skill out. Hmm. This megaphone might cover more. There we go. And all three. And that skill in the corner as well. <laughs> Alright, so the only problem here is that we need a lot of score. Oh, we do have the popcorns at the corner. Oh, that's, that's such a pain. Okay, um, technically we can clear this level um, without the need of the 900 acorns. If you guys are placing your things carefully, if you didn't fumble too much with the tomatoes uh, like I did, it should be fine. Um, but just for the sake of progression, we're gonna, we're gonna use the skill. Okay, I'm gonna push out the the popcorn so we can try and target as many icons as possible as well. Because we do want to get score. Okay, so we're gonna end up using all three moves, but that's fine. There we go. Better be safe than sorry. Alright, fantastic. Okay, I hope, you know, after this 10 levels, um, the rest of the team will work a bit harder. I don't know, or maybe I might just make another consecutive <laughs> episode after this. Um, the first two players are definitely working very hard, but not as hard as what my Nintendo Switch partner has been doing. My, my Nintendo Switch account has like 200 over stars, just for me alone, but the one in the first place in my Nintendo Switch account has 900 over stars. That guy is an insanely hardworking. <laughs> uh, probably a student with too much free time, but it's okay. I appreciate it. Um, both just the two of us alone managed to unlock Chansey for the entire team, and then we're of course we're trying to push hard for you know the cupcakes and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so okay, right, for this one, um, definitely try and unlock the um. Olive, um, you know, away from the mixing stuff because you don't want the mixing stuff to get coated with olive oil. Uh, that can be a bit of a problem right there. Okay. So if you can destroy all the olives first before going ahead with the... Strawberry baskets, I think you should be okay. Oh no, I didn't manage to cover both lanes. Oh well, okay, so the best way to do this is still using Pokemon icons, I think. There we go. Okay. There we go, two lanes. But as you can tell, yeah, it's not doing so well because we messed up on the, the double lane. So yeah, I'm gonna retry this level. It's it's not exactly a level worth spending 900 acorns on, technically. Um you know, so yeah. Okay. So let's push these away. There we go, two lanes for the strawberries. And let's go with the olives. Fantastic. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good this time around, considering how many olives have been destroyed already. There we go. Whew. I was hoping that all of them would light up, you know, because that was a bit risky. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's dive in with the icons. There we go. Let's get at the jiggly puffs as well. All right, a few of them got mixed up already, and that's it. Uh, hopefully the items do mix in time before the icons fall in. 
that that will be a problem. Okay, so we did have to waste one more move just to get the skill icon out of the way. But like I said, technically this level isn't exactly that difficult and it doesn't really um, require a 900 acorn retry. So as long as you keep at it and you know be careful with your placements of the skills, you should be fine. Alright, so let's move along. So far, no friendship bonus yet again. Wow! Uh, haven't been really lucky with this episode. Oh, okay, so we do have some annoying marshmallows, so we definitely want to get rid of those first as quickly as possible. You know, we can, we can handle the chestnuts later. Um, they aren't that big of a problem. You know, as compared to the marshmallows, because you know marshmallows do rotate. All right, so let's power up Meow's skill and destroy everything in its path, including that one marshmallow. And of course, let's push the pumpkin out for better placement of destruction. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we do destroy a few pumpkins, and of course, a few of them do get cut in half. So that's pretty good progress. Alright, pushing them into the same location once again. Alright, a whole bunch of them destroyed at one go, that's fantastic. And of course, attaining score. So now we just need to push these two chestnuts together. And we're done. Luckily enough, the score requirement was just a tiny bit required. Um, just destroying two icons was more than enough, so <laughs> a bit lucky right there. But still, fantastic finish. You know, didn't require any retries. Oh, yes, and there we have our friendship bonus, finally. Um, I don't think it was a level that the last one that has the double star. Yeah. Oh, oh, it is! Oh, we are getting six stars! Wow! Okay, so at least we end the episode on a fantastic note. Well, that is if we actually clear the level without retrying. Alright, so let's do this! Uh-oh. Okay, okay. This doesn't seem that bad. Um, just have to be careful of the whipped creams. Um, yeah, you gotta be careful, you know, to remember to set them free. Alright, so let's- Oh! Oh, I missed my chance for a three-lane destruction! Oh, that's such a waste. Okay, so we do have a lot of toga piece. Um, let's just push the, the leaves down. Come on. Are they not going to go down? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so they are not going down. There we go, three lanes and a whip cream. Okay. So let's just get as many of these skills here. Um, we're gonna have to try and get more level up skills going because we do need to call out the whipped creams as much as we can as well. So, okay, we've got all the whipped creams out, so technically we are good to go. Now, the only problem here is the leaves. So that is kind of worrying, so let's just push the leaves down and push them down so we can destroy a path for them to drop in. Come on, oh, come on! Come on! Oh, come on! Okay, okay. Okay, the leaf is gone. So now we just need to handle the whipped cream. Whew! Lucky for us, we did it with the required moves. Okay, like I said, if you guys are able to handle this well enough, this stage shouldn't be that difficult. Um, it can get a bit tricky if your placement of skill doesn't cover the, the required amount of lanes for optimal destruction. Yeah, it can be a problem. Look at that star count! Oh my goodness! Okay, 
So yeah, guys. So that's it for this episode. I think I might go ahead and record another one um, for future viewing, just like this, because I do want to try not to miss out on Chancy on this account. Um, so yes, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys enjoyed yourself, make sure you hit that like button for this video, and of course, let me know if you guys have already attained Chancy for your own self um, with the hardworking team that you currently are in and if not uh, you know you can always let me know uh, what kind of struggles are you facing in the comment section down below and of course if you guys are not subscribed yet or are brand new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon while the plane is flying past my block <laughs> and until then guys i will see you guys in the next pokemon cafe mix video uh which i'm gonna record right after this and i'll see you guys soon Bye!